Hey guys, Private Jack here, and in this video, we're going to talk about Red XI's Source IO add on for Blender. And what the Source IO add on allows us to do is import Source One MDL files directly from the binary, it allows us to import VTFs without taking them through a image editor and converting them. It also allows us to import BSP maps from Source One uh, games. It allows us to import Source Two uh, binary models, the VT, uh, the VMDs. It allows us to import the Source Two textures and it allows us to import source to materials which will actually go out and search for the textures and load them onto the model so it's a very powerful tool that red xi is developing now this tool is in development and it is buggy and it is not really um, all there yet for example right now uh, for source 2 um, it does do Dota, however, Dota went through an update and it broke the importer. So uh, it currently does not import Dota 2 files properly. But this is just getting it installed into Blender, so let's have a look in where we're, we can get this particular add-on. So I'm going to launch a, a browser, a uh, web browser. And in here, I'm going to type source IO. This is going to bring up these particular links, and the one that I want is this one right here Red XI source IO Blender source IO add on GitHub. We're going to go to the GitHub, and Red XI has released 23 versions of this particular uh, add on. And right now we're going to click on releases and we're going to download the most current stable okay this new importer uh, MDL importer is the one that we want version is 3.7.11 or newer okay we're going to click on the source IO zip and download it now as I say this tool is going through development and Red XI is constantly updating the tool. Another option for you is to actually download the master. And to download the master, uh, this the master includes all his latest commits and updates and whatnot else. So if you find that you've got a function that isn't working properly in the stable release, you can come here, download the master, but the install method is a little bit different. So I'm going to bring that one down now as well. To get the master, I'm going to click on this green code button and come down here and click on download zip. This is going to download the zip file as source IO master.zip. My, uh, my downloads go to my desktop, so Whenever I download something from the net, the first thing I do is throw it through a virus scan. No threats detected. Detail report. Basically, I've already scanned this a couple of times already. And where is it? There is the actual scan. 269 files. Uh, no threats detected. Okay. Now I'm going to scan the I.O. master. Hundred and twenty seven items scanned, no threats detected. I'm willing to work with these two because my virus detector did not detect anything. So I can close that off now and to install. OK, so I'm using Blender 2.91 alpha and I've got the most recent download as of last night of the program. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to install the stable. Okay, to install the stable release, all you have to do is come here to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, click on the Install button, 
point this file browser to where you've downloaded the stable and that's this one here okay the source io.zip click on that and install add-on as soon as it finishes installing it will present itself in the list of add-ons what you have to do now is click on this box to enable it I can close that down now and if I open up the transform tools menu over here on the right I'll find that it's added a tab here for source IO and all he's got here right now for tools is IO stuff and it doesn't do anything he hasn't finished writing the code for this particular uh, function okay if I come over here to file import and I come down da scroll down to the bottom of my page I'm going to find source engine and basically this is the importers that he has given us okay so source models this is source one models dot MDL files BSPs for source one VTFs we can import VTF textures it says here source sessions uh, SFM sessions I have not been able to get this one to work right and there is no documentation telling me what I have to do to actually set this up to do this it might not be written yet uh, if I looked at the I looked at the PY codes for this particular uh, tool and there is one that isn't written yet source 2 models this is the VMDL models binary it says here source 2 maps however I've done a heck of a lot of searching through the stuff that I've extracted for source 2 and I cannot find any files that end in .v world so this might be something that is actually coming out of the uh, uh, authoring tools for the actual programs when you're if you're into that kind of thing so I can't get this one to work either because I'm not there yet source 2 textures it'll allow you to import the V text files and it will also allow you to import the VMAT files and if you import VMAT files this will actually texture your model if it can find the V text files that are associated with that particular material okay so that being said I'm going to uninstall this stable version now and get into how you would install the master there is something broken in the actual remove tool and I think I'll send uh, Red XI a um, note on this but when I come in here and I try to remove the actual add-on that I have installed I get a load of errors okay so it does not cleanly remove the actual program or the actual add-on what I have to do now is I have to to get rid of this thing I actually have to go into my apps data folder roaming blender foundation blender the version of blender that I'm using and I said I'm using 2.91 right now scripts add-ons and I have to remove this source IO folder so I right click on it and delete it no oh, it's currently open I've got to close blender uh, don't save try again okay now that it it's actually removed it okay so that add-on is no longer installed in my version of blender right now okay I'm going to close this down now we're going to talk about adding the master and like I say the master is any of his bug fixes um, any new tools he's added to the actual project after his last official release okay so I'm going to now open up this master zip file okay I need uh, WinZip or, or, or WinRAR or some extraction tool that will open zip files. I'm going to go to my 
Blender Foundation folder again in AppStat, Roaming, Blender Foundation, Blender, the version that I'm currently working in, Scripts, Add-ons, and from the zip file, I'm going to select the Source IO Master folder and I'm going to drag and drop it in that particular scripts add-on folder. Now, in order to get this thing to work, what I have to do is rename this folder. I'm going to right-click on it, select Rename. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete the dot .master so it just source IO and commit it. Okay. I can now close this out. I can close this out. If I launch Blender now, <clears throat> go into my Edit Preferences, Add-ons, and here in the search bar, I'm going to search for Source. If I can spell it right. Here's the add-on. Blender will find the add-on and it will present itself and currently it is not enabled. So I'm going to click on the box again to re-enable it and now I have the master enabled in Blender. So if I go to import down here I'm going to find those options again that they are available to me. Over here again like I say he has not written any tools yet so it just says source IO stuff. And do we have any other things here in our properties panel? Not that I can see off the top of my head. Okay, so anyway, that has the actual install, uh, the uh, uh, add on installed and we'll get into actually importing in another video. So with that, I'm going to say Private Jack out.